So it's been a year since I've owned my Tesla Model 3 and uh, I think it's time that we go through how the battery is holding up and what the battery degradation is going to be looking like. Uh, we'll also go through some of my charging habits. We'll also take a quick look at the uh, battery report on Teslafy just to give you a better understanding of how the battery degrades over time and what you can expect. So we'll start with my charging habits. Um, obviously, which is probably typical, most of my charging is done at home um, through a, my mobile connector. I don't have um, the Tesla wall connector installed at the moment. Uh, I'm doing just fine with a 240 outlet uh, using a 1450, NEMA 1450. Um, that's the majority of my charging. So I would normally plug in all the time, even if I'm not charging, just always plug it in while I'm at home. Another big portion of my charging uh, is done at work, and that's only done through a 120 volt outlet. So those are the two main sources of charging that I use, and I've used through this one year of owning this Tesla. I also charged up a few times at some superchargers during some long, uh, road trips that I did uh, this summer. And then also, ever since I got my CCS adapter, I wanted to try that out a few times, so I've tested out some DC fast chargers that are non-Tesla, just to see how those are. But the majority is done at home, and on a 240 outlet. And I'd like to just mention that I do park inside a garage at home. So the one winter I did go through, it was uh, in the garage most of the time. Or if it was outside at work, it was always charging or always connected to the wall. So I would always charge to 80% and I pretty much never gone below 20%, maybe a couple times, but it's always between 20 and 80%. Um, I think I've charged to 100% maybe three times for road trips. So as a reference, when I purchased this car, uh, it came with a rated 560 kilometers of range. Just to keep in mind, so when we take a look at the Teslafy battery report. All right, so here we are on uh, teslafy.com. Before we jump into the degradation report, I'm just gonna uh, indicate here that, as you can see, there's almost 30,000 kilometers on uh, my Model 3 right now. So what we're looking at here is a graph that shows max battery range compared to kilometers driven and also time. So each day I'll get a rating. Um, as you can see, it goes up and down over time. It just jumps around. That's just how it is. As you as you charge or discharge your battery more, it's uh, c constantly adjusting what your max rated range is going to be. So today I got a max rated range of 557 so as you can see we go back here also I only started using testify at 8700 kilometers and the reading I got there was 560 which was also my rated range when I got the car so if you compare that to today I'm pretty much almost at 560 and we'll scroll down a little bit more here starting range 560 and then my current range so my current range loss is only 0.5 percent also you can take this into consideration as reading a high range of 570 so optimal conditions temperature outside and everything um, the car calculated that i can get a, a rated range of 570 kilometers so that's best case scenario and then a worst case scenario that I've seen on my car, uh, recorded by Testify, is 552. So if you take in consideration one year and then 30,000 kilometers, at the time, I would say the state of the battery is in really good condition. The battery health is, is excellent. I, I was expecting worse than that, but uh, I'm happy with, with where I'm at. Uh, we can also scroll down here and see total charge counts. As you can see, I've only charged 100% three times. And then um, obviously 80% is my majority uh, cap for um, charge rate or charge limit. And 81% uh, a couple times, just because sometimes it'll bump into there uh, naturally. It'll charge to 81% when you even have it set to 80. So I know it's a short video, but my intention was to get the main information out there. And if you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to answer all the questions I can about charging habits, uh, my personal charging habits. Uh, I can't say for everybody, 
Uh, I'm not an expert in any way about how to charge. I'm, I can just tell you how I charge and how my battery health is doing. So, so go ahead, leave a comment below. Also, I'll be doing a one year review of my Tesla Model 3 long range. It's gonna include bad things, good things, because there's definitely some bad and good. More good, I would say, but uh, improvements can be made for sure. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.